okay, yeah, I'm gonna say something that I've been wanting to say for a while. Situations like that when I shoot at people from afar, it's th I do it just to let them know I'm there. Like, it's basically when you're getting shot at, you just build and wait on people. So, like, I do it just to let them know I'm there so they can wait on me and I can come later and kill them once I'm ready. Instead of just having them run. But for different situations, it's different. Like, say, I guess you're playing against a squad and you see them running. Um situation like that i guess you should just let them run because it's a whole squad versus you or whatever but if people wanted to know why i do something like that there you go Okay, and also, as you can see, right here, I trade out a burst for a scar. My reasoning on that is, first off, yes, scars and regular ARs will always be better than bursts at spamming and destroying walls. But for headshots, bursts always been better. Well, not always, or maybe always to other people, but headshots, yeah, bursts always been better. They're deadly headshots. But also, like, with this last patch, um, with the P90 patch, I think, um, whatever, with the last patch, Burst got a buff to where they do more damage to the walls. Like I said, regular ARs and scars and stuff like that will always be better at spamming. But, like, these Bursts are so deadly to, like, sometimes when I get hit in the head with it, like that situation, I didn't want to peek. If he hit me with another headshot, I would have been really low and I probably would have lost the fight. But I have a drum. I'm a drum user, so I also can use that as my spam weapon and my burst as my regular AR. There you go.